July 4th. Welcome to KPU's exclusive coverage of all of the day's exciting activities. And what a better place to start than the class of 2015, the senior class at K-High, their float. So we've got the president of the senior class right here. Welcome. And what's the theme? Tell me a little bit about this. This totally rocks. It's awesome. Yeah, thank you. Uh, our theme is royalty this year. And since we're the 100th class to graduate from K-High, we wanted to make our float look really amazing. And we worked really hard on it, but this morning we're having a little column problems. Well, we are having some typical catch can weather we're issues. Here right? in front of the 4th of July Queen Parade float, actually purchased by Vigor Industrial as a donation. And it's really cool that they also welded the crown in the shipyard. But I'm right here with the 2014 Queen. Now, okay, so we covered the crowning last night. Were you surprised? Yeah. <laughs> And now you get to ride on the float. You're looking gorgeous as always. What what do you think was the hardest thing about competing for the queen? Um, probably the talent show. <laughs> yeah, and you did a phenomenal job. You were absolutely hilarious. The theatrical performance was great. Now you can check out on the float right behind me. They've done a great job because this year's theme is snapshots in time. And so what they've done, as you can see all of these great photos of all of the previous queens or many of them throughout the history of Ketchikan and there are some really recognizable names uh, on the and that's just fantastic and a huge group coming up right now with our friends from Dance Mania and the crowd clearly getting into it kind of going out into the middle of the street there Everyone loves the parade, including the tourists, and I think it's a special treat for them when their cruise ship will dock in Ketchikan on the 4th of July, because the 4th of July is done so right. Happy 4th! Oh, and look, and the Dance Mania kids are just looking really awesome. Very cute costumes. And they just do a great job at Studio Max teaching the little itty bitty kids how to work those moves. And the Ritchie family, as always, ever present in the kids' parade. And what a fun, fun tradition that is. So, back up on the uh, tail end of the kitty parade, we've got a couple of other folks kind of sauntering through here. And there's Lin Kwan from KPU's Top Chef fame. And so that'll do it for the Kitty Parade. Stay tuned, folks. We're going to turn off the auto here so we can continue to entertain our, our live fans right here in front of Catch Can's brand new, I might add, City Hall. And uh, with a little tunage action. So we'll turn the audio off on our live feed and we'll be back in a few minutes when the main parade commences. Happy 4th. aboard that float. Alaska Airlines. You know, you think about Alaska Airlines, there's so much for our community, not only serving as a great source of transportation, oftentimes the only source, but they donate a lot back to the community, so it's nice to see them. Very nice to see them in the parade. Studio Max, rocking it out. Great looking float this year, with all the dancers in sync with the music. Oh, and let's take a minute and listen to their music. Very 
cute. Absolutely adorable. Very, very cute. Nice so job. Thanks for watching. We really appreciate you tuning in. Thanks for tuning in to our coverage of the 2014 4th of July Parade. It has been fantastic. Have a wonderful and safe holiday, and we'll see you around town real soon. All right, approximately one hour before the start of First City Rotary annual duck race on the 4th of July begins at 5 p.m. However, first, the tradition is that the free root beer floats will happen. Hello. So you've got everyone down here for free root beer floats. It looks like uh, these guys up here are burning through them pretty fast. Are they good this year? Yes. All right, excellent. And excellent. How, how many years have you come to this? Every year. Every year. It's awesome, right? It's a 4th of July tradition. We can't talk to her because she's too busy slurping down her root beer float. However, a notable Rotary source told me that over 500 free root beer floats are served every year right here by the museum. for our Rotary Club to do projects right here in and around Catch Now I'll tell you what, sometimes they get caught. Sometimes they get caught on the side. Don't count it, don't count it until it goes right through that hole into Pastor George's net. Whose duck is that? Whose duck is that? Raise your hand if you think that's your duck. Oh, we've got an infiltrator. And there might be a wave effect on that. Looking like we might have a winner. It's not over yet. Closer, closer. Oh, the duck is in the boom. The duck is in the boom. All right, one back in the boom. 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 Let's back and back. Let's back and back. Back. Back from the outside. From the outside. Here comes the little cover. It's Mr. Duck. And Mr. Duck. Rolling in.